Hi everyone, in this video we'll be going over the DS18B temperature sensor module. We'll be going over how to connect the sensor to a microcontroller like an Arduino Uno. We'll also be going over the code in Arduino. And we'll also be showing a demo of how the sensor works along with other details. So if you're interested, let's get started. So let's go through an overview of the DS18B20 digital thermometer. It has a supply voltage or it can run with a supply voltage of 3 volts to a maximum of 5.5 volts. This means that you can use it with most microcontrollers that run in either 3.3 volts or 5 volts. It has a sensor measurement range between negative 55 Celsius to plus 125 Celsius, which will be equal to negative 67 Fahrenheit and plus 257 Fahrenheit. When you look at the sensor accuracy or what the error in the measurement will be, um, most most projects I assume people will be using would, would be based on the first row or that first range of readings, which when Celsius will be anything between negative 10 and 85 Celsius with an error of plus or minus 0 0.5 Celsius. And for Fahrenheit, the equivalent will be anything, any measurements between 14 Fahrenheit and 185 with an error of plus or minus 0 0.9 Fahrenheit. As you go in a wider range that goes into colder and hotter temperatures, your error increases as you can see in both tables. What this means is that if you were to take a reading of 20 Celsius equivalent to 68 Fahrenheit, uh, your reading could be anywhere between 19.5 and 20.5 Celsius or 67.1 Fahrenheit as the lower limit and 68.9 as the upper limit. We just went over the basics of the sensor, but if you would like to see details, I recommend you go to the data sheet, which I'll leave a link in the description. Just skimming quickly, we can see the temperatures that we just talked about, the accuracy. Um, we can also see the supply voltage that we just talked about, as, as well as other details. They also even have um, some specifics on the curve error, showing the average error to expect and then the upper of lower bound that three standard deviations in the positive and then the negative for each temperature. And this is kind of like you can see in the rough range that we were talking about how you get between negative 0.5 and then plus 0.5 uh, which kind of matches what we just talked about. So again if you want to see more details or looking to do anything more complex that needs this go to the data sheet. Let's now take a look at the DS18B20 sensor pins. Pretty much only three of them. We get ground and supply voltage. Ground, you would just ground it to the same ground as your microcontroller, Arduino, Raspberry Pi, whatever. Supply voltage, you would supply with anything between the voltages mentioned previously, so 3 volts and 5.5 volts. So you could just send either the 5 volts from an Arduino Uno or 3.3 from any other microcontroller, whatever you have, as long as it's within the range. And then the signal. This is basically what you will connect to your digital input output of your microcontroller. Now that we covered the pins on the sensor, we're ready to go over the connections with a microcontroller. In this case, we're going to be showing an Arduino Uno. So, so we see ground goes straight to the ground on the Arduino Uno. On the red cable, we're showing the input voltage for the sensor, and we are taking it to the 5 volt uh, of the Arduino Uno. You could technically also supply with 3.3 volts by going to the 3.3 supply voltage. And then lastly, the signal, we're taking it to the digital input output number 2 on the Arduino Uno. So pretty simple uh, and straightforward. Now let's go ahead and connect our sensor to an Arduino. Place the sensor on the breadboard or you could connect it directly to the pins. Here I'm just showing it through a breadboard to keep the actual sensor more stable. Connect it to the number 2 IO, 5 volts and ground as talked before. So once you get it set up like this, Let's move on to the next section. In order to run the Arduino code for this sensor, you will need to download a couple of libraries. The first one 
is the Dallas Temperature Control Library found on GitHub. Once you download it, proceed to download the next library, which is the OneWire library also found on GitHub. I will be providing links in the description to both of these libraries for you to download. After that, you will be importing those libraries into Arduino. All right, guys, so this is the Arduino code that we will be using for this example. Uh, as you can see, it's a brief one. You can all see it in one screen without me scrolling up and down. But before we go too deep into it, let me show you how to import the libraries that we were just taking a look at and downloaded. What you got to do is go to Sketch, Include Library, then go down to Add Zip Library. Make sure you are at the location where the library was downloaded to. For me, that's on the downloads. And then all you got to do is click it, the one you're you know, about to import, and click open. For this one, you'll have to do it twice, one for each of the libraries. I already have this library uh, installed, so I'm not going to do this. I will now proceed to go briefly over the code. So first, we include both libraries the one wire and the Dallas temperature. We then define a variable called one wire bus and then we call it number two. This is based on us wiring as you remember previously from the diagram that we showed. We're sending the signal pin from the sensor to the Arduino Uno uh, digital input output number two. So that's why we call it number two here. We then define one wire and call out the variable that we just created and we also pass the one wire references to the Dallas temperature uh, function we create a serial we start a serial uh, mainly because we're going to use it to show the temperatures that's the only reason why we're using it in this example after that we begin the sensors and we go into our main loop where we're going to read requesting the temperatures and once we get it we're going to print the word temperature the space print the temperature that we're getting in this case I'm calling it as F so it's going to be in Fahrenheit and then I'm going to print the temperature now if you went into the files within the temperature control library you would find a file called keywords if you read it and I'm pulling it in here so you can see it you would see that it has all the functions so uh, or at least all the keywords and methods that are critical here you see that we have get temp F by index, that will be this one. Sorry, that's C. This is F. So if you wanted to call out the temperature in Celsius instead of Fahrenheit, all you got to do is run this one, which is the same thing, just change the F by a capital C. So you get to change this. Um, other than that, uh, that's pretty much the code. So let's proceed to an example of using it. So next, once you have the code set up, go ahead and click the run button to send it to your Arduino. Once it has completely loaded, we will proceed to open the serial window to see what the temperature measurements are. Once you click the serial window, you will see that you will start to display temperature readings. In mine, I see 69.35 or 69.46 degrees and when I use a temperature laser gun to measure it I get 68.5 which is almost within the 0.9 measurement uh, error that we descript, described before uh, you could also consider errors in the potential laser temperature gun that I was using but shows that it's in the ballpark uh, and it shows that we could use uh, somewhat reliably this temperature sensor uh, the one in the Arduino uh, for many projects. So this concludes uh, this video. Uh, I hope you found it helpful. Leave any comments uh, if you have any interesting uses of this that you would like to share. Also, if you like the video, please like and consider subscribing. Thank you very much.